Mike Boland from Pro Steering here. The topic of today's video is about identifying a steering gear. Identifying a steering gear is sometimes the most agonizing part of completing the sale. So we made this video to show you ways that you can work with your customer over the phone and use our web tools to quickly and accurately identify a steering gear for your customer. So let's get started. Let's use the example in this video that you're working with a customer over the telephone and your customer is at the left front tire of his truck. From this view, he can see the steering gear and the very first thing that we need to determine is what type of gear that the customer has on his truck. Ask your customer to look at the pitman arm and output shaft connection. The TRW gear is going to have a full bolt groove connection where you see the, the bolt head sticking through the top of the output shaft. The shepherd gears use like a retaining nut to hold the pitman arm onto the output shaft. So it's very easy to tell from four or five feet away what type of gear your customer has on his truck. Another simple method to determine if it's a TRW gear or a shepherd gear is to look at the gear housing casting. The TRW gears will say TRW or Ross in raised letters like the, the logo on the casting. And on the shepherd gear in raised letters in the, the casting you'll see RH Shepherd and Company. In the first example, we'll work with a customer to identify a TRW type gear. The gear part number on the TRW gear is located at the lower cylinder end on an ID pad. It's the end of the gear opposite of the input shaft. Working with your customer to get them to scrape this ID pad and read the pin stamp number is clearly the quickest and surest way to accurately complete the sale of a steering gear. This picture shows the ID pad and the actual TRW number. This is a TAS 65004. So the challenge sometimes with reading the ID number is that it's always exposed to the weather and it does take a little bit of effort to uncover these part numbers and read them at the end of the steering gear. In this example, let's work with a customer to identify his Shepard type gear. So again, standing at the left front tire of the truck, we'll ask the customer to get two pieces of information off of the gear housing. Ask the customer to get the gear size that is in raised letters on the casting. This will be M80, M90, M100, or even an M110. Just below that, on the machined ID pad, above or right below, or right behind the pitman arm sometimes, will be a three-letter pin stamp. With those two pieces of information, we can accurately identify the steering gear. When we look a little closer at the gear, we can see the two pieces of information that we're looking for. First, the gear size, in this case M100, is in raised letters just below where it says RH Shepherd Company in the gear casting, or the housing casting. And then the three letter pin stamp that's just below or maybe behind the pitman arm, in this case PCL. Now that we've worked with a customer to identify and or find the exact TRW or Shepherd uh, part numbers on the gearbox, let's take a look at how easy it is to interchange that number to the correct pro steering gear part number. So we'll go to our website, www.dssprodiesel.com. From there, we're going to click on the uh, pro steering tab. And about halfway down the page, we have three or four menu choices that will help us out. So let's try the numeric listing. Click on that. And now we're ready to interchange those uh, two part numbers. Well, one of the nice features we have on our website is a search function. So uh, instead of having to plow through all of the different line items trying to find a particular uh, gear spec number, we'll just click on the search button, type in that uh, part number that we pulled off the gearbox, TAS65004, and select the search button. We see that part number shows up on page nine, so we'll click on that. And that takes us right to page nine, and the part number that we typed in is highlighted here in yellow. So it's a little bit too hard to see uh, in this view, so we have a, an ability to zoom in on that part number as well. So here the, is the part number from the gearbox, TAS65004, and that interchanges to the pro steering gear part number 66007R. This is a good time to just verify or confirm with the customer that he is in fact ha uh, using 
or replacing a steering box on a Freightliner application. A lot of the numbers or a few of the numbers uh, tend to be similar. Sometimes the pin stamp, it's easy to misread. A nine might, like, excuse me, a nine might look like a zero. Uh, or maybe it was just uh, a communication error where a part number gets turned around or, or missed. So it's just, uh, in my experience, it's just good to double check that the part number that we're interchanging does match the application and even the make and the, uh, or the model in the year as well. We would then follow the same methods or steps to interchange the uh, Shepard part number that we worked with our customer over the phone on, that M100 PCL. Follow the same steps that we just completed for the 65004 to correctly and accurately uh, interchange that number to the correct Pro Steering Gear part number. It's really that simple. When you're able to work closely over the phone with your customer to get the actual Shepard or TRW gear part numbers, you can easily cross-reference or interchange those on our website and it makes the sale of the gear quick and most importantly accurate. We hope that you found this video useful and that it will help you provide a better level of service to your customers. We appreciate your business and you can always give us a call at 1-800-327-4373 or visit us on our website at www.dssprodiesel.com. Thank you.